Okay, so I'm going to show you how to find the percentage of amount um, using the Chinese method. So um, with 7 y 3 I've done a different method, but I think that this one is better and more consistent. So if you could try using this one, um, it's a lot simpler. So I thought I'd teach it to you in a video and then hopefully you can try it on your homework. So you're given your question, find 36% of 420. Now, for every single question, there are two basic steps. Step number one is you take our percentage from the question, which in this one is 36, and go and divide that number by 100. So, some of you might be able to do it automatically, but if you can't, remember, when we're dividing by 10, 100,000, we can use our place value column. So, I've pre-drawn my little grid here, I put my 3 in the 10s and the 6 in the units, because that's how we tend to write 36. So if I'm dividing by 100, 100 has two zeros in it. So when we divide, we're going to move to the right. And because 100 has two zeros in it, we're going to go right two spaces. So every number in every column here is going to move two spaces right. So 1, 2. The 6 is going to end up in this column and one two the three is going to end up here remember this line between my units and my tenths is my decimal point line so actually wherever there's a number around that we're going to have a decimal point and the last thing i need is an emergency zero because actually we don't say 0.36 we say 0 0.36 so i'll pop that zero in okay so i've done that step one for this question Step number two says take your answer to step one and times it by the amount in the question. So the amount you're given in the question is just the normal number, it's not the percentage. So you're going to times the next sum is, so that's that, sorry, that was equal to 0 0.36. Okay, so you're going to take that 0 0.36 and you're going to times it by 420. Now remember, um, to times any numbers we're going to use the Chinese method and if I'm doing a decimal times by a whole number if I put the decimal on the top the point is literally just going to drop, drop straight down that line there so we don't even have to worry about figuring out where it was so always choose to put your decimal on the top so I'm going to put 0 0.36 on the top and 420 on the side now you guys know how to fill this in already so i'm going to do this really quickly okay so i've filled in my grid and the last thing i do is go down each column or diagonal column and add them all up so that is a zero this one just adds to a two this one that's 6, add 1 is 7, add 4 is 11. So with 11, I keep the units digit here. So the units digit 11 is 1. And I carry the tens digit, which is also a 1, up to the next column. So then looking at the next column. 2 plus 2 plus 1 is 5. This column here. You can use a highlighter for this, guys. You don't have to draw around it in pen. You don't even have to use anything if you can just do that. So that's 1 and that's 0. And then remember what I said, because your decimal is on top and it's times by a whole number down the side, your decimal just travels straight down this line here and ends up right at the bottom. So that is equal to 0, 0.51.20. And the last thing you have to do is decide which of the zeros are actually important. So if you've got any zeros at the front of a number, um, before the decimal place and there's nothing in front of those and they're not actually important so they're not very significant so we wouldn't include that in our answer and kind of the same on the decimal side so if you've got any zeros right at the end with nothing else behind them and they're after the decimal point that's not important either so our final answer for that would be 151.2 okay so i've put a second example on uh, what I would recommend is do the first step. So if you pause the video now and you try the first step um, and then check to see if you've got the answer right.
Okay, so you should have tried step number one. So your percentage, which is 73, divided by 100. So 73 starts in here. And because we're dividing by 100, we're going to move everything two to the right. So that moves to this column. That moves to this column. Decimal point column is here, so we have to add in an emergency zero. So that is equal to 0.73. Okay, so now you're going to try step number two. So the answer to step one, which was 0.73, times by the amount in the question. Okay, so you've got, this is what your grid should look like. Remember which one you're going to put on the top. Have a go and then check your answers. Um, so pause it now, have a go and then see if you get the same as me. Okay, so the decimal should have gone at the top and the amount, so the non-percentage number in the question, down the side. So that's 15, that's 6. That's 35, that's 14, and 0 times anything is just 0. Right, let's add up these diagonals. So we've got 6, we've got 9, 